The issue of environmental preservation and sustainability has become a topic of discussion in the last decade. My name is Siti Maisaro, co-author of this paper, and this paper titled Determinant of Environmental Performance, Evidence from Agriculture Industry in Indonesia Stock Exchange. This is the outline of this presentation. First is introduction, hypothesis development, data, research models, results, and conclusion. I jump to the introduction. The utilization of natural resources in the firm's business has a relatively high risk related to environmental pollution and ex excessive resource exploitation. Therefore, there is serious competition between firms to improve performance one of which is by taking a role in the social responsibility practice. In Indonesia, social responsibility practice is regulated in government regulation number 47 of 2012 to protect and promote business in the natural resources industry without neglecting social action. Disclosure of social responsibility creates a good reputation and the impact encourages firms to perform better and increase stakeholders. Before the enactment of regulation regarding the disclosure of corporate social responsibility, the World Business Council for Sustainable Development developed the concept of social responsibility. Furthermore, the concept promoted to ensure that firms maximize the positive impact of their operations by meeting legal, meeting legal, ethical standards, and public expectation in their business activities. The encouragement for the creation of good activities is raising standards or criteria for corporate social responsibility, such as global reporting initiative. Alan explained that the GRI standards set for criteria for determining social responsibility. One of the criteria in social responsibility that should be highlighted is related to the firm's performance in the environment. The main problem to be built is determinants that affect corporate social responsibility, especially in the environmental field. And this is the hypothesis development. This study used secondary data in the form of annual financial statement obtained from the official website of the Indonesia Stock Exchange and the firm concern. In addition, the population was all public agricultural industry firm listed on Indonesia Stock Exchange. The number of the agriculture industry is about 20, and the number of research observation based on samples with a period of 2016 to 2019 is about 18, and it has data outlier about 13, so the number of final observation used in the research is 67. This is the research model. EMF refers to corporate environmental responsibility, discernment using the GRI index four, and ROA refers to return on equity, the firm's ability to generate profits from its equity, and it refers to firm A, and size refers to firm size, and leverage refers to for that level, and the last is KAP. KAP refers to proxy of audit quality. 
This is the regression test result. The result showed that return on equity has a negative effect on environmental performance. This implies that good financial performance is not always directly proportional to social responsibility disclosure, especially environmental responsibility. And this contradicts the hypothesis that was built. This is in line with Habas, which stated that financial performance doesn't affect TSR disclosure, low or high ROA doesn't affect TSR disclosure since good or bad financial performance doesn't affect it. Firms are only interested and focused on making financial statements and have the perception that there is no need for non-financial information such as CR, TSR disclosures. The regression test result showed that the firm affected the environmental responsibility in a positive direction. The test result implied that firms with long operating periods are trying to improve their quality. One way is by taking part in environmental responsibility reporting. Furthermore, the determinant tested was the firm size and the result concluded its positive effect on corporate environmental responsibility. This result is in line with a few studies before that conclude big firms with large funding will conduct the disclosure of their environmental responsibility in the hope of increasing public loyalty. Further test results conclude that leverage has a positive effect on corporate environmental responsibility. This result proved that agricultural firms are concerned with the disclosure of environmental responsibility. One of the funds obtained through debtors contributes to environmental responsibility, and this is lined with the study of Ling and Sultana at 2015. Finally, this study finds no significant impact of audit firms on environmental responsibility. This is because there was no guarantee that the company will be responsible for the disclosure of environmental responsibility as also reported. And the first conclusion is probable profitability has a negative effect on environmental performance. It has a positive impact. Firm size has a positive impact on environmental performance and leverage has a positive effect. And this study cannot prove the significant impact of choosing an audit firm. Future studies should be conducted to examine other important impacts such as ownership structure and corporate governance and strategy. In addition, cross country studies related to factors affecting environmental performance in the agricultural industry can also be examined. The last, the author acknowledged financial support from Directorate General of Higher Education, Ministry of Education and Culture, Republic of Indonesia. Thank you.